In the years since Fallout 76 first launched, the Appalachian Wasteland has been getting small tweaks and upgrades here and there to help stabilize and properly balance what is arguably Fallout's most ambitious project. From the surprise reveal of, and then the unfortunate closure of Nuclear Winter, to the return of NPCs and an ever-expanding storyline, Fallout 76 has come a long way since it first launched in the fall of 2018. When it comes to things to fight though, while daily ops and new seasonal events like Invaders from Beyond have helped to spice things up, there still is a distinct lack of noteworthy and impressive challenges. In fact, when you discount huge new bosses like the Wendigo Colossus and the Ultrasight Titan, the last time Fallout 76 introduced a new creature was all the way back in March of 2019, introducing the Sheep Squatch as part of the Wild Appalachia update. After over four years of waiting, Fallout 76 is finally going to introduce not one, but two new cryptids for us to hunt down. Much like with the Sheep Squatch, these new monsters are based on real-life Appalachian folklore, the first of which being the Blue Devil, which is a wolf-like creature capable of standing on two legs, very similar to a werewolf. The Blue Devil has been described as a blue-skinned, horned humanoid creature with piercing red eyes, that has been spotted in the Appalachian region of West Virginia for decades. Based on the image we are given in the article, it seems to be using a similar animation skeleton as the Deathclaw or the Sheep Squatch. But now that I think about it, I think the Sheep Squatch actually uses the Deathclaw animation anyway, so that might be a moot point. In any case, it does give us a sense of just how big this creature is going to be. While the Inside the Vault article doesn't give a whole lot of details on the creature itself, or where it most commonly will be encountered, the paragraph right below it does talk about a new event being introduced in the next update. Apparently, the Blue Ridge Caravan Company has set up shop in the Middle Mountains cabin and are using the location as a pit stop for their trading operations. Using a repeller speaker, Blue Ridge still seems to be having issues with keeping away the local wildlife, and has hired us to help protect the cabin. It's very likely that we could see the Blue Devil show up as a final boss during this event, the big bad wolf come to knock down our little stick cabin, oh my god. But I would wager that it has some tie-in to this new event in one way or another. The second new cryptid being added is a creature known as an Ogwa, which is a large turtle-like creature with jagged spikes on its back, a sharp beak-like mouth, and is effectively a prehistoric snapping turtle. Unlike with the Blue Devil, the Ogwa has a bit more details attached to it in the article hinting that it will most likely be located in the Cranberry Bog and is mentioned to stand about the size of five men. This, however, seems to be a bit of an exaggeration, as the only creature that large in Fallout 76, or at least close to it, is a Scorch Beast, or maybe a Scorch Beast Queen. But looking at the picture included, we can see that there's a person hiding not too far behind the creature in a nearby shack. So, yeah, <laughs> Little, little smaller than it, uh, than it advertises. While this new creature might not be as large as it mentions in the article, it is nevertheless interesting as this will be one of, if not the first, new enemy that has been added to the game that specifically runs on all fours. Aside from the Ogwa, I think the only consistently hostile creature that runs on four legs is the rabid dogs and the mutant hounds. A very unique addition to an ever-growing family of killer critters that make up the West Virginia family. That's where the new creature stuff ends. There's a bit more to the update, but I'm more interested in new enemies to encounter. If you want to check out what else is included in the update, check out the video my friend Tonic made going over the entire article. As I said before, these are the first new cryptids that Fallout 76 has added since the Sheep Squatch about four years ago. And while it's a pretty long dry spell, it's good to see some new creatures entering into the game. Indrid Cold, in the form of the Smiling Man, has also been added into the game, though this was a little bit ago and it's also a random encounter that most people may never or may just hardly ever interact with as frequently as they do other cryptids like the Mothman or the Grafton Monster. In any case though, it's great to see more myths and legends make their way into Fallout 76. What do you guys think the next big cryptid drop for the game will be? Will it be the Veggie Man? The Beast of Gum Hill? Perhaps they'll bring back that massive bird that used to be pinned to the side of Seneca Rock as the Thunderbird. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Until next time though, I thank you all so much for watching, like and subscribe and stuff, 
And until next time, I will see you all out there in the wasteland. <laughs>